Dear children, welcome to YouTube channel H2O Chemistry. I am Satya Narayanan, your chemistry teacher. Subscribe for more videos. These videos make your chemistry interesting and easy. In this video, we are going to learn firstly a symbol and uh, the present system for determining the symbol of an element. And this we can call modern symbols. The scientist John Jacob Berzelius in 1813 suggested a system using alphabets. In our previous video, we have informed you that if you give a pictorial symbol, that is very difficult to draw as well as very difficult to print. But Berzelius suggested that we can use alphabets of an English name of an element because it is very easy to write as well as to draw and print. So currently this system is modified. So we can we are using the modified, in, mod, modified version of Priestley's system that is system for determining symbols of an element. So let us see the points one by one so that you will understand easily. Dear children, uh, let us start the point number one in the present system. The symbol of the most common elements use first letter of their English name. So, we can confirm that most of the symbol of an elements are derived from English names especially non-metals you will see the meaning of this word little later now we will see what is the example of this with the modern periodic table look at this so this is the modern periodic table so in this on your right hand side you will find non-metals so this violet color area you can say it is non-metal most of which are having a single letter the first letter of an element carbon C nitrogen N oxygen O fluorine F phosphorus P sulfur S iodine I so like this and boron B so Mostly non-metals have first letter as a symbol. Right? Come to the next one, point number two. If two or more elements starts with same initial letters, then the symbol uses the first and second letters of their name. Okay, I missed a point here in the point number one. The first letter should be written in capitals. Remember this point. Always the first letter of a symbol of an element is in capital. In the point number two, if two or more elements starts with same initial letter, then the symbol uses the first and second letter of their name. So the first letter should be written in capital or uppercase. Second letter should be written in the lower case. We will see some examples of that come to the modern periodic table look at this carbon and cobalt carbon starts with C cobalt starts with also C so when you have like this so second letter is chosen as symbol got it I hope you have got this point right similarly carbon let us go to the cobalt and the calcium. Look at this. Calcium. Cobalt and the calcium. C, C. Both starts with C. Right. So the first letter is C here. Here C O. If the both letters are same, we choose second letter as a symbol. So like this, there are many or like that. Right. So we have to look at this. Let us look at one more example. Come to this uh, aluminium. 
and look at the one more organ both are starts with the letter a when look at the next letter a l for aluminium but a r for organ got it similarly for boron and beryllium boron so barium and beryllium barium and beryllium not boron and beryllium barium and beryllium look at here barium and beryllium both letters starts with b so for this they have chosen second letter b a for beryllium they have chosen b e as a let symbol or it similarly for many things like bismuth or it and uh, if you look at your bismuth and uh, bromine b r so all such cases so hope you have understood this if uh, two or more elements starts with same initial letters then the symbol uses first and second letter of their name come to the third point if the first two letters of the names of an element are same if the first two letters of the elements are same then what we will do we will do this what we will do the symbol uses the first and third or other letter of an english name that they do not have in common it do not have in common let us go to the first case organ organ and arsenic look at this organ and arsenic yeah organ a r g o n so a r is given arsenic already a r is there so we use s yes, third letter as a symbol as yes. similarly calcium and cadmium look at here calcium and cadmium calcium is the area yes and cadmium is here cadmium so ca ca so first letter is given for calcium so third letter is chosen here but the third one chlorine and chromium chlorine and chromium look at here chlorine and chromium is here so ch ch here third letter is used cl here second letter is third letter is used r so chromium chlorine right so these are some examples for the point number 3 similarly for manganese and magnesium also is like this like that come to the next one point number 4 some symbols are derived from they are old names from they are old names latin or greek names of an element there are 11 elements or like that so we take the name from their latin so first element is sodium sodium the latin name of that is natrium what is that natrium the word natrium in latin means sodium carbonate sodium carbonate this they mainly use it for headache killer it is so they use a natrium which mean headache killer they use it they use the sodium carbonate so the word come from this natrium the first two letters n a is given for sodium k is called potassium in latin it is called kalium kalium k a l i u m kalium this word actually come from the word called arabic word quali 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 means alkali quali means alkali come to the next one fe in in latin it is called ferrum it is called ferrum the real meaning is iron or sword which is make is used in the sword making that's the reason it's called ferrum come to the next one copper cu the real name is latin name is cuprum because it is found in the island of cyprus next one silver silver ag 
the latin name is argentum which means silver which means silver the next one a u aurum 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 in latin means yellow color so gold looks like yellow in sand remember so when we mine the gold the gold nuggets we call nuggets in yellow in color next one hydrogenum hg mercury it is in greek it is a uh, water silver because the droplets looks like silver the it's shiny like silver that's the reason it is called hydrogenum the mercury is a in uh, greek in some other it's called god of mercury too it's a mythological character and next one lead plumbum in latin it is called liquid silver liquid silver why this word plum comes from so previously in olden days lead pipes are used used in water pipes lead pipes are used so the word plumber so that is fry then this word it's come from plumbum come to the next one stibium antimony why this word stibium stibi means i paint in ancient days the compound of antimony is used as cosmetics that is the reason it is called stibium the word come from stibium so yes b so learn these two names kana it will be very easy to understand stanum the word stag in latin means melt at low temperature that is called tin then wolfram the wolfram word come from the mineral called wolframite which contains tungsten is a as a main metal so w is a letter so look at it natrium na kalium k ferrum iron fe cuprous cu copper argentum ag aurum au hydrogenum hg plumbum bb stibium sb tin stannum sn w will from these are the 11 elements which for which the symbols derive from their old name or latin name or greek name come to the next point fifth point some elements named after scientists to give the credit for their contribution in science example nobelium alfred nobel nobelium got it similarly come to the periodic table you will find borium borium niels bohr sebergium rutherfordium all are example for this category come to the next one in this next one some elements are named using name of country the example are am americium and u uh, eu europium eu europium look at here you will find this americium right so these are the elements which are named after country now next one some elements are named using name of the planets example pu plutonium pluto np neptunium neptune and u uranium uranus you will see in your periodic table see here uranium 92 atomic number is 92 neptunium 93 and plutonium is 94 so all these three elements are named based on the planets the next one i told you mythological character the mercury element is named using the mythological character god mercury hg so the mercury means mythological character god name the next one some elements like iodine named using the name of the color in greek iod means violet iod means violet so the iodine vapors are in violet color that's why they use this name iodine i is a symbol of the element so 
the word extra knowledge you should be acquired so the extras are minerals some of the names to come from minerals too in latin calls means lime so that's why it's called calcium lime contain calcium silex means sand in latin so that's why it is called silicon sand mainly contains silicon sio2 this is cao soda means sodium potassium means potassium so soda contains sodium potassium contains potassium that's why the name come from the real name of sodium is natrium the real name of uh, latin name of potassium is gallium so the symbols are derived from latin name so any like that so i hope this session is very useful and it will be interesting thank you so much for watching keep learning keep yourself engaged in your study so that you will find the subjects more easy and interesting thank you so much